Welcome to a brand new vlog. Today we are visiting the Caddyshack Ranch Wildlife Sanctuary in Jacksonville, Florida. So here's the name of the place that we are going. The admission to get in is pretty manageable at $15 per adult and seven for kids. So they have daytime hours beginning at one o'clock and going until three is the last time, the last hour that you're able to gain admission. But you don't have to leave at three from my understanding. You're able to stay a little bit longer than that. They do also offer nighttime feeding options. The tickets for this are more expensive and we've never done that and we'll be doing that today but that is another option if that's something that interests you. On this beautiful sunny June day we visited Caddyshack Ranch just after 1 p.m. which is their opening time. The goal and purpose of Caddyshack Ranch is very respectable in my opinion and I will share more about that shortly. Video, people tell you a little bit about the sanctuary answer some of your questions and introduce you to this. First, you yeah, want to understand that. that these animals are not our pets. They are and will always be wild animals or city fun. We have a number of special events each year that also help us raise additional funds to take care of the animals. For instance, we have a Halloween on and forest in October. And of course, Santa comes to visit and visit. And all during the year, we are open to the public for day and night tours. Please check our website for exact dates and more information. Free to ask any questions that come to mind as you visit our sanctuary. Thank you. All of the information that I'm about to share with you will also be available at the end of this vlog in picture form. As previously mentioned, Caddyshack Ranch is located in Jacksonville, Florida. They are Northeast Florida's longest operating wildlife sanctuary. Caddyshack Ranch Wildlife Sanctuary is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. While their goal is to educate the public about their plight in the wild and in captivity, their primary focus is in the rescue of exotic animals from serious situations. The mission of the sanctuary is to provide a safe, loving, and forever home to endangered big cats. Once an animal arrives at Caddyshack Ranch, they have a loving home for the rest of their life. They do not breed, trade, sell, or buy any of their residents. Their current residents include tigers, lions, pumas, leopards, lynx, servals, caracals, foxes, and cotamundis. The last two species being honorary cats. Oh dear. Thank you. I'd rather have cougars. Big Look at his snoot. I no oh. offense. I just cougars are cool. Look at his You'll notice as you continue to watch this vlog that I wasn't able to get footage of every single animal that resides at Caddyshack, and out of respect for the animals, that was perfectly okay. But as you've already seen with the Siberian tiger, there is an informational placard for each species of animal that is at Caddyshack, as well as an individual name placard for each animal. And I was able to get footage of all of those in order to give you a really authentic view of just how many animals Caddyshack is helping. You'll also notice throughout this vlog that the tigers make an appearance more than a couple of times. They seem to be the most prominent species located here at Caddyshack, so they do come up often in this vlog. I really appreciated the informational placards that were available because it gave me such a variety of information related to each of the species at Caddyshack, and I hope that you will find that helpful as well. As you can see here, these placards offer information from the name of the species to what they eat, their lifespan, fun facts, where they live in the world, and much more. The history of Caddyshack goes a little something like this. About 30 years ago, the executive director, named Kurt, began by training police dogs and then started working with exotic animals in 1982. He acquired his state license in 1984 and his federal license in 1992. In 1994, the Florida Panther Project asked Kurt to be their representative in Jacksonville for educational presentations about endangered panthers. His rescue mission had begun. Look, you can see its tan-colored snout in there. 
Uh -huh. Kurt continues to learn from veterinarians caring for Caddyshack Ranch's resident animals, attends conferences in the exotic animal industry, and attends meetings with the Fish and Game Commission in Florida. Kurt also works with the USDA and state officials when accepting animals. Most importantly, he has earned the respect of the animals in his care, and the mutual respect is obvious to anyone watching. Some other pieces of their history that I feel are really notable include that in 2004, Caddy Shack Ranch adopted a no breeding, no selling, no trading, and no buying policy to help ensure every animal is given refuge there and will not be jeopardized by irresponsible growth. They hadn't ever sold, traded, or bought any animals in the past, but this practice became part of their core values with the implementation of this policy. It was also in 2004 that they became licensed slash accredited to be open to the public. They strongly believe in educating the public and especially their future generations about the plight of these animals in the wild, as well as the dangers of owning these beautiful exotic animals as house pets. They give educational school tours year-round and are open on select days to the public. Public. In 2013, they started an internship program providing a place for college students to learn about the care of big cats. In 2014, the ranch hired its first paid employees, which is a sign of their success that they have grown to this point and the possibility exists for adding additional positions in the future. In 2015, the ranch purchased additional property as the beginning of a planned expansion. It is a process that will take years and they believe will enhance the experience of visitors and the lives of their animals. In 2016, they improved their on-site medical facility with the addition of a couple key pieces of diagnostic equipment. First, they added a digital x-ray machine and large wall monitor that allows them to perform x-rays there, but also send the digital results to outside agencies. Second, they purchased an ultrasound machine that allows soft tissue examination. Both of these tools make the process of diagnosing a problem potentially quicker and easier. Having them at Caddyshack Ranch reduces the stress to the animal by requiring less sedation and getting the animal back into their familiar surroundings of its habitat as soon as possible. At Caddyshack, they continue to write their own history. In the next five years, they hope to have a completed welcome center building for guests, renovated habitats, and medical enclosures for animals under treatment from illness. Caddyshack also shares how fortunate they are to have medical volunteers. They explain that experienced and generous groups of veterinarians, specialists, and dentists donate their time and services to care for the residents. Without their support, they would be unable to provide the utmost care for the residents, including but not limited to radiation, chemotherapy, stem cell therapy, and specialized surgery. Many of their veterinary volunteers practice in the Jacksonville area, but some travel from as far as California to provide care for the residents. They are eternally grateful for their service and are blessed to have this immersive team on board. He has traced those tracks a lot. That's not
You may have noticed that on each of the name placards it includes how the animals arrived at the ranch and that's a seemingly small detail but it's one that I really appreciate. It gives me a more whole picture of the animal and their story and that brings me joy. On the day that we visited, we were able to notice a lot of differences from the time that we first visited two years ago to now. Several of the enclosures have been moved and reconfigured to make more of a loop so that it's a more natural flow when people visit the ranch. And also the enclosures have experienced some upgrades in fencing and water features and enrichment activities for the animals. <laughs> Ziggy has come over here to visit now. Ziggy! Hi, sir. Ooh. Ziggy has things to say. Sorry, Ziggy. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to start a war. <laughs> oh, dude. 
It's a good looking comb. Oh dear. Catty. 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 C-A-T-T-Y. Catty. It's not like a movie. No. It's not like a movie. I don't know what movie you're referencing, but no. Okay. You're gonna lose fans over there. Catty? Caddyshack? Bill Murray? I don't know what that is. Re 